Dating and matchmaking services aren't necessarily a guarantee, but a Boise woman is now urging folks to be extra cautious when using those services after she paid $4,000 in hopes of finding her match. KTVB Shira Matsuzawa is in the newsroom with her story. Kira, or Shira? Ryan, Kathy Larson says she's never even heard of matchmaking company Idaho Singles until she got a phone call from them. Now she's sharing her story so more folks can be aware. No, I never talked with my family about it. They have no idea, and that's what makes this really embarrassing for me. It's been a couple of months since Kathy Larson paid thousands of dollars to a Meridian matchmaking company. That was a big mistake. Kathy says someone from Idaho Singles called her one day out of the blue. And instead of me just saying, well, I'm just not interested, you know, and hang up, why, he made it sound interesting. Next thing the 75-year-old knew, she was getting screened by Idaho Singles in their office. And she said, well, I think that we can really find somebody for you. And what I really wanted was somebody that w would be my best friend. But the matchmaking process wasn't free. And she said, it's, you know, five, we start at uh, $5,000. And I thought, yeah, that's pretty expensive. <laughs> <laughs> but if you sign up today, we can t we could drop it down to four thousand. Kathy says she handed over her credit card and signed a contract, which stated she'd be set up with eight potential matches. But the attorney general's office says urging someone to make a fast decision like that can be a red flag. You really haven't saved one thousand dollars. You know, essentially they they they're they're trying to get you to decide now by doing a fake thousand dollars off. When you get called on the phone, you have to put some extra red flags up. That caller, more often than not, because the database is out there, knows a whole lot of information about you. You know nothing about them. Kathy signed that contract in April, but says she never received a copy, despite repeated requests. Idaho Singles set her up with one person a few days later, but it wasn't a match. She says two other potential dates never happened, and a fourth date was with someone who was out of her preferred age group. I just want to see people that that get calls like that be very wary, you know, and uh, understand that, that uh, these kinds of things are out there. The Better Business Bureau also, also tells me they've received five other complaints about Idaho Singles, while its parent company, based in Oklahoma, received 32 complaints. Meantime, we did reach out to Idaho Singles. They asked me to email them, and once I hear back, I'll be sure to update you here on KTVB. We'll also have what you should know if you're ever in a similar situation at KTVB.com. Brian? All right, tough way to lose $4,000. Thank you very much, Shira.